All right, guys. Today I'm gonna to be doing a video about a, a one arm front squat. It's another way of doing a, a regular front squat, but it's gonna require a lot more flexibility. So if you're not, if you don't really have a good lot of flexibility, flexibility as it is, by means of going down to a deep squat or getting into like a deficit um, deadlift, that's pretty much really high off the ground, um, or the weight's low on the ground and you're high off the ground. This is a great exercise to start with. I found it helped my flexibility a lot. I don't see any much people really doing it. Most people, when they when they when they do it, from what I've seen, use too much weight and they kind of they blow their 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 capacity to, to have good mobility. So you want to start pretty light. You want to make sure you're popping. You don't want to be strained out of the ground. It's mostly about a pop. I don't really go for weights that are really heavy and strenuous, or you'll you'll lose the actual integrity of the movement and you'll. Your elbow will drop and all the way will go to your wrist and you don't want that. It just feels like you're just working your, your forearm. Um, like I say, a great exercise for flexibility is a great way to gain um, some, some real, like what I call the rhino strength. It's a term that I use for basically being very, very strong within different um, planes of planes of motion basically what this exercise does is it helps to get, make you a lot more stable so it's, it's more of a unilateral exercise it makes you a lot more stable when you go back to your actual regular like even as a back squat or a, a regular front squat it makes you a lot more stable and it gives you that little extra range of flexibility and plus you think about it it's gonna re be very good for your uh, muscle fibers you know what I mean? Really gonna help help those muscle fibers grow. Cause you might you might think, oh, it's only a couple pounds. Like, let's say you squat like 300 pounds on a front squat, and let's say you try and do um, that's your max. You try to do like 230 or 240. Just try to do a whole session of that, man. I mean, the way the way that it feels, it feels like it's a lot more heavy coming through your heels. It feels like you're lifting like 400 or 500 pounds. If you're lifting 300 pounds, if it's a uh, like I said, you, you don't want it to where you can't come out of the bottom. But it's, it's the bottom part that's the real most challenging part, trying to get out of the bottom. But you want to make sure you can pop out because if it's too heavy, the elbow's gonna drop and it's gonna be more like a you're creating more like a what's the word a C shape within your back, and you don't want that.